AB 12 is an option to help you excel. I'd rather you opt in because it's hard out there. Reality is those streets are a route to jail. See me, I have a story to tell. I was a foster youth in the system as well. Statistics stated my only option was to fail. Family, family are people who I'm really connected to, who I feel connected to, not necessarily blood, but that I have a certain connection with. What does family mean to me? Uh, it means um, connections, supportive relationships. To me, family is, whether it's blood or not, is um, a group of people who will be there for you, whether you're going through good times or bad times, it's just whenever you need them, they're there. Growing up, there was a lot of people um, that I thought were uncles or cousins, it turns out we have no blood relation whatsoever. And so I think that's when I really started recognizing that family is kind of whoever you make, your, make as your family. I proved society wrong, I couldn't make it on my own. So I'm here to help encourage you to stay. I know you want everything to go your way, but in the real world it doesn't work like that. You want a house, you need money to pay. So you need to be employed, I'm just saying I've been there, I'm still there. Yeah, I'm still there at that place, turning 24 in transition, no more aftercare admission. The support I'll be missing. The real world is a hard place to face, especially when you're dealing with the trauma, the drama, no daddy, no mama around, just feeling down. AB 12 is an act that was passed by Congress to allow foster youth to have more time in foster care so they can get, gain better skills, make better connection, and be a lot more productive when leaving care. In 1991 is when I started advocacy around foster care issues. Um, one of the things we went to the Capitol was exit grants, and that was the kind of things we advocated for. Now we have things like AB 12, um, which is much more comprehensive services for young people. There's housing, there's things that didn't happen. Definitely I can say um, since I started advocacy or since I was in care, there has been some changes. There's stuff definitely still needs to be um, many more changes. It's hard, I know, but I'm asking if you can just hold on a little while longer just stay strong let the system work for you it's time for you to shine and to step up your game it's time to rise higher and be a part of making those statistics change if I was a youth emancipating right now I probably would not take advantage of AB 12 um, primarily because um, for me exiting out of the system was a liberating experience on its own and um, Having that safety net of having the post-emancipation services was enough so that if I, that it was enough for me in my county. I think I would stay in care only because I see, I'm just now starting to see how much resources I can get a, a hold of and why not since I'm about to go to college I can use all the funds, resources I can use. I didn't emancipate from my family. As a matter of fact, I tried leaving home at 21 and it was the worst thing I could have done in the family. So why should you, that we have care, charge over, have to emancipate? The, the services and the program and the care should continue until they're ready. Give up, never, never give up. Prove to the world that foster youth can make it. It's easy to complain, your situation hard to explain. But opt in now, if it doesn't work out, you always have the option to walk away. Allow AB12 to assist your dreams. Allow that goals meeting to help you win. Please opt in. It's either now or never. Let's do this together.